Cat, it's Maximus here, this time reviewing a classic, I'm calling this the Classic Penance 1660, and we can barely read where it says Penance, you can just see it there, you can just see the 1660, patent pending apparently on this ratchet, must be for the knob, and MFD USA, I mean that has got to be, I can't actually read this with my own eye, I mean you got to have magnifying glasses, little turn dial style, round head ratchet which if I actually has a little bit of life left so I think it just needs a cleaning I do like that the switch or the knob if you look right there it's actually sitting on top of the moving part of the ratchet which I do like there is no way that this reverse knob can come into contact with the body of the ratchet impossible for it to self reverse I have reviewed, maybe three years ago, a Pennon's half-inch ratchet, a 1660. So it was the newer version, same model, had like a giant uh, reverse switch on it. It was like a 24 or 32 tooth tearing it apart. It was just like a real disappointment um, because it was a sing swing paw, SK style, single paw. So single rocking paw instead of two. And it had a single two. So I'm seeing if this one's any better, bigger, or excuse me, better. You can see by a hole right there, I think this is just going to be a single paw. The head actually isn't that tall on it. And, uh, you know, we can see some quite a bit of damage right there. I don't know. You know, so that damage isn't grinding. That damage is hammering damage. So it has a pretty thick head. So it survived being used at, quite harshly as a hammer. And I just want to see if this older Pennons is better than the newer. I guess the newer Pennons I reviewed maybe was from the 80s. This is probably from the 60s or 70s. Uh, they never were um, really exciting getting these kind of clips out. These never were, you know, Pennons, you know, it never was a, a New Britain or an SK or anything like that. Wow, I can't believe I got that out successfully. Pop this out. <laughs> so surprisingly enough, the, the newer one is indeed better. Or excuse me, not the newer one. Is the older one. We can still see that it is pretty coarse. That looks like it's a 32 tooth. But this is a better quality ratchet because we can see the old, the newer one from the 80s I reviewed three years ago uh, was more cheaply built. They just through broach the whole head this one you can see there's actually a shelf machine in there this little spot machine and then when they broached it it's actually a blind broach it only went down so far leaving this lip to capture this actually I think it just provides a, just a bearing surface and it's actually this lower lip pressing on here is what's taking the thrust loads anyway we can indeed see that it at least has two teeth on the paw that other pennons I reviewed only had a single had a single paw with one single two. So, indeed, the older pennons is better than the newer pennons. Imagine that. I mean, pennons was cheaping out on their ratchets by the 1980s, not starting. Ouch. Anyway, I'm gonna get some lube on here. Just some old tired grease, and that will allow this to. You just use a real light oil, three in one oil, or I'm just using, you know, some kind of. You don't want to use silicone spray because that dries out too much, but just a real light oil so it doesn't want to get all, you know, when it gets old, it doesn't do what grease does, which is, of course, start to get sticky. Fortunately, when you use a light oil on something that's old and greasy, it'll just mix in with the old grease and actually, like, kind of wash it away and reconstitute it and now this is working real nice let me put this back together so just a little loop anyway still not a great half inch ratchet i mean round head ratchet even for the 1960s new britons were awesome compared to this many brands had at least three teeth on the paw many williams and and bonnie's and so many other brands would actually use uh two rocking paws with multiple teeth on each paw. Of course, on a ratchet like this, it's not going to be the anvil that fails. When you put way too much load, it's the, the shearing force 
against this center pin. You can see that center pin's way smaller than the half inch anvil. So when you put a cheater bar and the ratchet fails, it will be that pin, the paw, just pushing sideways and it'll just act like a guillotine or just a, will shear the pin off. Other than that, did bring it back to life. Just a little bit of oil and still keep this one around. I kind of still like it and it's nice to compare it to that other pendant. I don't know if I still have it. I may have been so disappointed with it, I gave it away. And that's what I've done. I've reviewed a lot of ratchets that are just extremely kind of low end. And uh, even though they're like old and American made, I just I would rather keep ratchets or at least more noteworthy of keeping. And I think, I think I'll probably keep this pendant just because uh, it's definitely old. It's more than half a century old. And I'll be able to use it to compare to any other pendants that I run into. Other than that, I'd say that the ball detent has a reasonable strength. Uh, not super strong, but uh, definitely not too soft either. And at least with this design, I can say that, I mean, the handle doesn't even move. This does, you know, besides having a surprisingly, I mean, that is a kind of a loosey-goosey anvil. Very low back drag. I mean, I can tell you that. I mean, I can, that's holding it sideways. If you're like this, I mean, mere grams of force to be able to get this to move. Anyway, my little review of a classic pen in 1660 versus the newer 1980s. This would be a 1960s one. Anyway, thanks for watching.